Well, here's the spot. Heard there's some loot in this place. I have to just look on down these stairs. Yeah, this looks like an easy puzzle. I just pull this lever and the door should open right. Hmm, that's strange. What's up, Frosher Bros? Welcome back to the Morwen playthrough. It is currently part 36. Last we left off, we freed all the slaves in Drin Plantation and celebrated with Skuma, but as you can see, we are still hallucinating and, find, uh, and need to find a way to escape this hallucination. And I believe slaying Ogrim is the key, so without further ado, we must go deeper into this... Uh, this Draugr ruin, I guess we would call it. Like it's a ancient Nordic ruin, I guess you'd call it. And of course, we have to go through this area full of cobwebs because there's frostbite spiders in here. And I really don't want to mess with them because when they come up in numbers, they can be deadly. Of course, I can easily pick them off one by one like that, but yeah, I don't really like uh, the idea of having multiple frostbite spiders around biting me. Anyways, we're just going to go on past this room. And we have an enchantment table there, but I don't have uh, very many soul gems or levels, so that's the thing. Of course, there's also this little crypt area. I guess Draugr could wake up here at any moment, so I may as well be careful and sneaky. Oh, that was a lot of noise, so yeah, we can't jump over that, and we got a Draugr, oh no, that's not good. I'm gonna have to kill him. There we go. Slew him. Now we have to go through this little trap over here. And then, of course, uh, flick that lever so the trap stops. And this looks shady down here, so we're gonna buff on up. And go on now. Okay, I did not like the sound of that. These lights seem to come on dramatically, and no. Oh, this looks like a little drug crypt, and yeah, I guess this coffin must have had ogrim in it, but of course, over the years, I guess the mechanism broke, and yep, that sounded like ogrim just suffocating this wall. Anyways, the hallucination, I can feel a certain end. Whoa. So, you thought you could escape me with your little skooma, eh? Well, guess what? I can control you, you know. L Lord Chugorath, okay, what's going on? Check your journal. Oh, well, thank you. You're welcome. That should at least help you out with Hortator a little, but I believe you owe me something. Uh, wh what are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. You you mean the fork of replacement right here? Yes, that. You stabbed the niche, but you never gave me the fork. I require the fork. Oh, uh, of course. Here you go. I see you have completed my little errand. Well done. Perhaps you've gotten a taste of madness as well? Do not believe madness to be a curse, mortal. For some, it is the greatest of blessings. A bitter mercy, perhaps, but mercy nonetheless. Give me the fork of horopolation. I believe I have something more suitable for your needs. Go now. Remember what you have seen. Well, all right. I just spoke with the uh, old Lord Shogorath, and it looks like he gave us a little gift in exchange for that fork of Orpilation we forgot to turn in so long ago. It's the Spear of Bitter Mercy. I can't really use it as a spear, but being able to summon an Atronach and being able to reflect spells as a spell I can have in my inventory would be nice. And I mean, it... It's a nice looking spear, don't get, me, don't get me wrong. But, of course, I'm starting to walk around here and I notice this spear weighs 20 pounds. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to carry this spear around everywhere. I think I'll just leave it right here on the shelf. Mm, 
that doesn't look right. Let's try to angle it. And yeah, around about this angle should work. There we go. Anyways, now that that's out of the way, literally, time for us to leave these sewers and basically finish becoming horsed for. I know we have to make our way over to Yingling Manor to basically speak with him. So we're gonna have to kill a rat right quick and yeah, I guess I can show you all to Yingling Manor in the haunted house. So instead of cutting, I'll just probably uh, kill this rat and have some music playing for y'all as I rush my way on over to Yingling Manor. So yeah, I'll be back with y'all in a sec. Alright, tell your story. 
You have found me, and that means you are resourceful. Yes, I will vote for you as Hortator, but my vote alone means nothing. Yingling is a fool. You can bribe him or kill him. Crassius Curio is a man of passion. He can easily be manipulated, but Villana and Nevin and Orvestrin's creatures, and they will do nothing without his approval. Well, thank goodness we took care of everything else, so... Yeah, we're just going to have to head on over to Crassius Curio because that's actually all we need to do now. Because we just got everyone's vote and now we can just grab the last reward from old Crassius Curio himself. So I'll see y'all there. Here he is. Alright. Now let's talk about Lalu Hortador. And of course, he's going to give us a reward. And all the counselors agree? Splendid! I'm so happy for you! What an honor! But no more than you deserve, Pumpkin. And now I have a little treat for you. It's a belt given to the Hortador. How Salalu! Just snug it around that supple little waist. Now you have important things to do, but don't be a stranger. Don't gr don't don't neglect your poor uncle, lone, lonely uncle Crassius, your devoted admirer. All right, and with that done, that is actually going to be around about the end of this video. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Remember to like and subscribe.